Do you think it's going to go well with the Jews in the United States or anywhere else in the world? When they're trying to pass even Sharia law in the United States? I mean, come on, wake up! You know, people need to wake up what's going on. My brothers in Israel, you need to wake up! Erev Tov Chavrin. Good evening, friends. My name is Stephen Bendenun with Israel Live. There are several things going on in the news uh, this past week to bring you up to date. We had uh, uh, reported on Arut Sheva's website, Israel National News, Russia test fires an advanced ballistic missile. Uh, this missile has the capacity to travel a maximum range of 6,200 miles or 10,000 kilometers. Uh, Russia has been testing warheads that could evade a missile defense shield the United States is deploying together with NATO and Europe over Russia, strong, uh, over Russia's strong objections. And uh, so the Russian officials, uh, amidst the Ukrainian crisis that is going on now, test fired this ballistic warhead, a missile that has the capacity to carry nuclear warheads all the way to the United States. And the mission was successful to be able to evade uh, our defense shields we have in America. So uh, Russia flexing their muscles, no doubt. I uh, want to take real quick here and let me share with you a statement from Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu regarding a missile uh, discovery on a ship that was uh, in the, uh, uh, the Red Sea that the uh, elite forces of Israel were able to capture this ship and to bring uh, these missiles, stop the missiles from getting into the hands of terrorist groups that are, that are out to destroy Israel. Let's take a look at, his, at the Prime Minister's words today. Israel captured a ship on the high seas, stocked with weapons destined for terrorist groups. These weapons were going to be used against Israel. The uh, entire operation, this clandestine operation, was organized by Iran. While Iran is conducting these talks, smiling to the international community, it continues to arm terrorist groups, it continues to perpetrate terrorism around the world. Such an outlaw regime must not be allowed to have the means to make atomic bombs. As we can see there, there it, <clears throat> Iran can definitely not be trusted. And in the background, we have playing some of the footage there of the Israeli commandos that had taken over the, uh, the ship. The ship was headed to Eilat uh, this afternoon, and uh, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said that he would update us later on the findings of that. But as he noted in there, uh, Iran speaks peace out of one side of their mouth, but we know that their intention uh, certainly is the annihilation of Israel, and of course they have threatened to annihilate the United States as well. Give them nuclear weapons and they'll certainly have the ability to do so. Uh, another thing I'd like to bring to your attention here that I will be playing here in the background as well, and that is uh, uh, Rabbi Glazerson uh, has put out a video with a Bible code from the book of Deuteronomy, a very powerful uh, message indeed. And in the message he has Benjamin Netanyahu's name as well as uh, President Barack Obama running in there. The Hebrew part of Deuteronomy that reads here is speaking about uh, the keeping of the commandments of God. And that uh, in the code itself, it shows that clearly in the year 5774, the year we're living in now, uh, speaks about Israel, uh, uh, the land that Israel has, and that they should keep this land, and that it would be contingent on, as Rabbi Glazerson points out, keeping mitzvot, or keeping the laws that God has given us. And, uh, and uh, ironically, in the latter part of the code here, uh, he speaks about that if the children of Israel would keep mitzvot, then Moshiach, would come in 5774. I'm Stephen Ben Danun with Israel Live. God bless you. Clearly indicating, telling Netanyahu and Obama, you must know the land is the land which God gave to us, and in condition, Shmatem Lasot, and this is really which will bring Mashiach to save us from all the situations that we are in it today.
That's it for this evening, and we hope to see you tomorrow again at 7 p.m. Eastern Time right here on Israel Live.